welcome back to my channel and hey what's up if you're new I'm Kelly today I'm gonna to be testing out the newest beauty hack on my channel and that is applying your foundation and concealer with none other than a chicken cutlet you guys a little silicone bra insert thing apparently this has like broke the internet and it applies your foundation and concealer really well. I know there is something called the Silly Sponge, I believe is how you say it, which did come out, but that's been sold out like everywhere. And then Huda Beauty went on her Instagram and literally just used a silicone bra insert and was like, it's the same thing. Used it to apply her foundation and it looked amazing. So I was like, okay, I gotta try this out. We gotta see if it works. So I'm being a guinea pig today and I'm gonna apply my foundation with this and see how it works. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, then just keep watching and be sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and uh, let's get started. All right, you guys, so I pinned my hair back so we can try this out. I obviously have foundation on my face right now. I'm gonna take half of it off so we can kind of compare what the foundation looks like with the Beauty Blender, which I applied it with this morning and then do the other part of my face with this silicone bra insert to kind of compare. So I'm gonna take this whole section of my makeup off right now with a makeup wipe. So just removing all of my foundation that I applied. And I'm gonna take my concealer off as well because apparently this can be used for concealer too. So we gonna test both. Also FYI, I just washed this. Be sure to wash your bra inserts before you use them for this because you don't wanna be getting all your boob sweat all over your face, just do it. So I'm gonna apply my makeup as I normally would with the Beauty Blender. So what I do is I actually take my foundation and I put it on my finger, I press it on my face, and then I use the Beauty Blender to blend it out. So that's what I'm gonna do with this. I've seen other videos where people actually apply the foundation to this. I'm not gonna do that though because I don't do that with the Beauty Blender. Um, so I'm just gonna do it exactly the same as I would normally do my makeup. So just dotting on the foundation onto my face. I'm using a little bit less than I normally would just because I have seen with this, since it is silicone, it doesn't really absorb any product like the Beauty Blender or brushes would. So you do, um, you know, only have to use a little bit less of product. All right, so now we're gonna go in with this guy and see uh, if it works. I don't really know how I should be doing this. Like, I'm kind of just like using like brush strokes. Maybe I'll do like circular motions. All right, I mean, it's moving it around, but I don't know if it really looks all that great. <laughs> uh, let's keep at it. Like, I feel like my face looks like hella streaky right now. So we're definitely gonna have to fix that. I do feel like it is applying it very full coverage, which is nice because it really isn't soaking up any product. It's just moving the product around my face. Um, but I feel like the product isn't really, like, I don't know, <laughs> a little difficult. So I think I probably used too much product. I could have gotten away with a lot less, which I already used less than I normally do, just because this is soaking up literally no product. Um, and it is applying it very full coverage. It just does take a little bit longer. Like normally with the Beauty Blender, I probably would have already been done like blending out by now. Um, but it definitely looks like really full coverage. Like really full coverage. Because I have the same foundation on the bottom of my face as I do on my forehead right here. And this looks a lot more full coverage. I think, like I said, just because this isn't soaking up anything. Um, so that's cool. All right, so this is what the foundation looks like when it's all blended out with this guy. It actually looks pretty good, I'll be honest. Um, I definitely use too much product, so you can definitely use significantly less than you would normally use because, like I said, this guy soaks up pretty much nothing. So I guess the Beauty Blender soaks up more than I realize when I'm actually applying it to my face. Um, it does look very full coverage as well. I did use a full-ish coverage foundation. This is the Infallible Pro Glow from L'Oreal. I love this, I wear it all the time. Um, it's not the fullest coverage, but it looks really full coverage on my skin right now, so I think that does have something to do with using this, because you guys can see on my forehead, obviously this has been on longer. This has probably been on my forehead for like two hours, but it does look a little bit less coverage up there than the bottom of my face does. Overall, I actually think it did a good job. Am I gonna go and throw out my Beauty Blender? No. Um, I don't think that I'll probably use this on a daily basis because it is just kind of weird and like I, I don't really know but it is actually really cool. We're gonna go ahead and try the concealer now too because apparently you can use it to blend your concealer. I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape which is like extremely full coverage on its own but 
gonna put a little bit underneath my eyes and we'll go ahead and blend that out and see how that works. So I kind of folded it over on the end and I'm just gonna go in and try and blend this out. <laughs> this is weird. I feel like I don't know how well it's gonna work for concealer. I feel like when using this, it makes the product like seem so wet when you're applying it and I don't get that feeling with the Beauty Blender, I guess because it sucks up like the excess moisture or something. Like I just feel like I felt like this with my foundation and I feel like with this, it just feels like so like wet on my skin, um, which is like kind of weird. Okay, so this is basically the best I could get my concealer blended out with this guy right here. It's kind of difficult because it's big. I feel like if I had a smaller one, it might have been a bit easier. But I did fold it over and kind of use the tip, which is similar to the tip on the Beauty Blender. Um, but I found this to be a lot more difficult, actually, to blend the concealer out than I did the foundation. So that's interesting. I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup with regular brushes, like set my face and all that stuff with powder. And then I'll come back and give you guys my final thoughts. Okay, so once the rest of my makeup is done, this is the completed look. I did actually really like the way the bra insert applied my foundation because it's a little bit different and weird to get used to at first, especially if you're used to a beauty blender. Because with the beauty blender, you kind of like dot around your face, where with this, I kind of just used it to move the foundation around my skin, which was a little bit different, but after I got the hang of it, I actually do really like the finish. It's certainly very full coverage, and you can get away with using a lot less product because this doesn't soak up anything, so I do actually really like it. You guys can see on my forehead, which I use the Beauty Blender to blend it out, it is a little bit less full coverage than the rest of my face, so that's really cool that this was actually able to apply it more full coverage, and I could use less product, and I do actually really like the result. As far as blending out my concealer, I didn't really like this because with the concealer, I feel like dabbing your concealer in place because you want to keep it in one like concentrated area is the best way to do it. Where with this, if you're like moving it around, like that just doesn't really work with concealer, at least for me. So I just really didn't feel like it did a good job blending out my concealer. I don't think that I will ever use like a bra insert like this again or any kind of silicone thing to really blend my concealer out because that like motion of rubbing back and forth in your under eyes is bad to begin with. Um, and it just didn't really do a great job of blending it out. So. I do like it to blend out foundation. I do think it's actually pretty cool and the hack does work. Concealer, I would skip on it, go with something else, use a brush, use a beauty blender, use your finger. That honestly would still probably be better than using this for concealer in my opinion. But overall, I'm actually really impressed that you can literally apply foundation really nice with a bra insert. Like what the hell? I definitely want to try the Slay Sponge once I can get my hands on it. I know it's been sold out forever, but I will check that out if I can ever be able to order it and it's in stock. That's pretty much all I have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed and be sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!